Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to another video. Today I've been working intensively on a new bootleg I'm going to be releasing. Jaden Smith Icon Ali and Adam bootleg. I'm really excited to release this. I actually had this as an old project I was experimenting with and I didn't think I would finish it, but I always recommend to you guys save your projects, give them a proper name because I used to just call projects like Pinocchio, this, that. Um, even if it's something abstract, something that's similar to what you're working on, make sure you're naming it accordingly. And so I came back to this because I had a bit of writer's block and I actually came up with a cool melody. Today we're going to be talking about some part two to the uh, six tips that I gave to improve your workflow, uh, to improve your organization. Because I'm about to clean up this project, so I, I want to show you guys what I would actually do. Um, this project has a lot of unused samples. It has a lot of unused uh, synths that I'm no longer using. Uh, I'm happy with what I have on the playlist. And um, it's a pretty simple project. I have my bass. I have my lead. I got the vocal. There's a, a lot in terms of automation. And um, sometimes simple projects are key. Um, I went down to a master class held by a artist called Hunter Siegel. And one of his projects actually had little to no effects. So sometimes my projects have a lot of effects. Sometimes they have uh, less. So there's really no rule when it comes to effects. So that's just the rundown of my project. It's pretty simple. It's just a really big focus on the bass and the lead. Let's go ahead and show you what I would do. Because here I'm thinking to myself, I already went to macros and I did purge unused samples. But we still have a lot of uh, samples that are turned off. We have things that are unlinked, so maybe they're on the playlist, but they haven't been designated to a mixer rack. And we also have a lot of stuff that's just random. And the thing is that the purge unused audio clips doesn't work if you've routed it to a mixer track. Um, and even if it's not on the playlist, because FL Studio thinks, oh, well, you took it off the playlist, you still linked it, so you're still doing something with it. So here we have to go in with manual work. So the first step is going to be sorting. So at the top left of your pattern window, I recommend hitting detached so that when you click elsewhere, it doesn't go anywhere. It has uh, it's going to be on the main screen. And I would go to this sort by track number. What this does is it organizes your samples and synths everything. Make sure you're on all so you can see everything that you're working with. And uh, the nice thing about this is that I can see, well, these samples are turned off, so I can go ahead and delete these. And if you're concerned, go ahead and hit Control N. That will save a new version of your project if you're afraid you might uh, make a mistake because these actions you can't undo. But these I'm not sure. So what I would recommend is mute the project, bring the master all the way down. And I like to do this sometimes. I just... I play with this, the arrow, I click and hold it, and I see, am I triggering any sample? Because if a sample or a synth is playing, you're going to see that light up, like how you see it there. And so I don't see anything. So it's highly likely I didn't use those because I'm not familiar with these. I don't think I've used these sounds. Nope. Definitely not. So I would go ahead and delete those. Now we're left with some main things. Now we can see here, there's nothing on one because one is a mixer bus of the kick and bass combined into one. But when you look two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, 10, 11, 12, 14. Okay, so 14 is when we look here, it says base layer. Yeah, it says base layer. Let's make this wide so it's a bit easier to see. So it says base layer, but nothing is on that. It's off. Um, there's nothing else that's on 14, and 14 is just a synth that's been turned off. So we can go ahead and delete that. We don't need that. Um, the reason why I had that was because I was working with something more aggressive. I totally scrapped my ideas, and I recommend that to you guys. Don't romanticize and don't feel this connection over your sounds. Sometimes you got to make last-minute changes. Sometimes you got to change your sounds. So be always open-minded to try new things. It's okay if you trash a synth that you've been working on. Just save the preset, maybe use it in another project. This is not being used because we can see there's no 14 anymore, okay? So 
this is the second tip is going to be you can reset a mixer rack in this case the one that says base layer very quickly all you got to do is go to this reset selected track to default that way you don't have to delete them individually it'll delete all the effects on that rack and it's going to let you know you can't undo this so there we go and it resets it resets the color as well so now we can see here again there's uh some stuff on 15 15 is our lead but why do we have three so let's see what's playing um let's go here what is playing on 15 actually nothing's playing on 15 if we look up here i made one called lead new which is 11. so let's pay attention to see if anything on this pattern window 15 15 15 we have a bunch of them are playing and we can see nothing is playing when we've muted the project be careful in case you have a tiny sample so if you guys have little snippets of samples you might want to put more care don't just quickly skim through it like this but yeah there's nothing on 15 and we can also take a look at the mixer in real time we can see nothing is playing through 15. so what are we going to do here we're going to listen So let's go ahead and delete these. Um, we're not using anything in 15. I've already saved my presets that I've been using there. And we're not using that. Okay, and this is off. Cool. So let's continue. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and listen a bit more, see if there's anything else. Now, I know that for a fact that I'm using the intro ARP, I'm going to try and use it. So just because I don't see it is it doesn't mean that I'm not using it. But uh, let's skip over to this guy. Now we can see, again, 15, because 15 was not used, we're going to reset that, reset select the track to default. And we're going to free up a lot of RAM, freed up around 200 megabytes of RAM. And... What we can do, let's go to compact. Let's control to select multiple, alt. Let's move these guys down here. When we come back here, I'm gonna hit sort by track number again and see here, like what are we working with? Lead new, okay, I know I'm, I know I'm not using this for a fact kick because my kick is, like I said, combined in the tracks one, two, and three. If we play this back, nothing. So let's go ahead and delete instance number 13 and when we come back here we are going to reset this track to default again freeing up more ram um, freeing up more cpu as well because a lot of these synths sometimes or sorry the effects might not turn off or they might have something when they're idle the plugin window might be open so this is taking up precious gpu and cpu resources Let's continue. So this can sometimes get really tedious, but guys, trust me, it's going to make your projects much more easier to deal with. Now, I know I'm using 14. I'm going to use that somewhere, but it's not named properly here. So I'm just going to call it mouse chords. You can hit rename. Um, I know I'm using this, my pad. Okay. And the rest, I know f for sure these are all used. I've used all these effects. It's really what starts after this 30. That's really the uh, that's really the problematic area, and and I know that because I haven't named these, and I know it's probably just a lot of trash that like I was experimenting with. Because you always gotta try trial and error. So what is this? Yeah, we're definitely not using that sound. We're gonna see is it triggering? Again, here we're not listening. We're just looking visually to see if we see any DB on the mixer track thirty. And if there's anything on the pattern window, nothing on the pattern window, nothing there. So safe to delete. And wow, there's a lot of plugins used there as well. So let's go ahead and reset that. Fabulous. And let's move it over there. Just keep it clean. These are empty. So let's again, move it there. Um, let's start from here. And again, let's just sort this because when you move them around, you're going to want to sort this by number again. So you can see it. And let's look at number 30. So we're working with number 30. Let's make this a bit smaller. Again, we're gonna play this back. See anything, 30? No. And it says 30 is a bass drum. And 
nothing. So let's go ahead and delete that one as well. Let's just listen to this, see if we recognize the sample. So we're not using that, absolutely not. That's not my kick. So let's go ahead and reset that. All right, and we can go ahead and delete that as well. So let's continue. We are getting close. And we can see here there's nothing between 30, 31, 32. We just cleared 30. There's no 31 or 32. So what does that mean? It means that we deleted them. We perhaps purged them because there was no effects on them anyways. So we keep going on. 33. We have sound goodizer. So it's just like a little saw. I know I'm not using that. But if we want to play it safe, we can just double check. Again, nothing. So let's go ahead and delete that. And we're going to go ahead and reset the selected track to default. Fabulous. So we are down to, well, look at that. So 29 jumps to 41. So there's nothing between this. All of those are unused. So because of that, and if we're extra paranoid again, track sorted by track number, again, there's nothing routed there. So boom, boom, boom. So many unused stuff. And we can see there like, a lot of unused stuff. So I'm going to try doing this. I'm going to select, hit control, hold control. And with your mouse, drag all the way to 40. Now, be careful in case you, ha you have routing, right? Because remember what I said. Just because I don't have something on 1 doesn't mean 1 is unused. I just am routing 2 and 3. Let me show you here. I'm just routing 2 and 3 to 1. So be careful in case you guys are doing um, mix bus routing. Okay, just be mindful of that in case you guys are routing multiple things to one. But we're okay. It's only my kick and bass that I'm doing that. So we're going to come back here. 34, we're going to delete all the way to 40. And let's see if this works. Reset selected tracks to default. Boom. Wow, fabulous. We've lowered our RAM. We're probably going to free up a lot more CPU as well. And these are all been freed up. So we've made a lot of progress here. I know I'm using this uh, wide noise, so I'll rename it afterwards, but let's bring it here. I'll call it FX wide noise. Uh, I'll give it the color there and we can sort this again. But before we sort it, I'm going to select these, move them here. Okay. And I'm going to hit one more time, tr sort by track number. And so all the way to 30, there is nothing for 31. So you could either hit F2 and rename it, or you could hit the reset. I like the reset. I'm trying to use it more because it also resets the color and any mixer equalization you do there. And it's just these two left. Uh, it's really not much left. It just jumps all the way to 45, 45, 46. Those might be, again, unused stuff. We're pretty much, it's pretty much a wrap here. So 31, what is 31? So 31, okay, I know I'm using that loop. It's like an outro loop. So I'm going to call that like FX outro loop. Give it the, the color. And then there is nothing on 32. So let's go ahead and reset number 32. Fabulous. And because of that, we're jumping all the way to 45. So what is going on with 45? I'm moving 45 over to 32. And I'm moving 46 to 33. There's just two stuff left. It's a top kick that's been turned off. So again, that's safe to delete. And it's just one last sample is this uh, snare drum. Are we using it? Maybe. Maybe I used it for like an effects purpose. So let's double check. So nothing. And that hat in track number 32 probably can be deleted. Because again, we don't see anything, nothing. And let's check the hat. Because that snare drum sounds foreign to me. It doesn't see, it's not something I'm using in my project. Yep, we can delete that one too. So fabulous. And we'll delete that one. Perfect. So you can see guys, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you guys how I would clean up the project. I'm going to save a new version or hit control N. And that way we freed up so much more memory, a lot more resources. This will give you the ability to render your projects without erroring out, especially if you guys are on 32 bit, because when you start approaching three gigabytes and onwards, you might have to open your project in 64 bit FL studio 
That's why I've transitioned to 64-bit because it was just pissing me off. There's some plugins that I like using in 32-bit, like the Nexus and, and other stuff, but you can just use the bridge. And 64-bit is a lot more a lot more flexible, especially if you have a big project and you want to render it without problems because I always encountered that with 32-bit. So I hope you guys like those tips. A being, you know, sorting by track number and as well as resetting the selected tracks because then you can delete a whole bunch of tracks. So by visually looking at the pattern window and the mixer and playing back your project, just looking at it, you'll be able to identify what you are or aren't using. And again, if you're paranoid about it, just hit control N and you have a new version of your project. So I hope you guys like this uh, small couple tips and it'll definitely help you guys when you are cleaning up your projects because you don't want to render stems that you're not using because then, you know, the cleanliness and the issues you have now, a little bit of organization goes a long way to save you time and trouble when you're rendering your project or your song. So if you guys like this video, remember to smash the like button. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see in terms of anything, tutorial, sound design. I love your guys' suggestions. The Big Room track from scratch, I'm going to be working on that this week. Um, and that's a wrap. I'll see you guys very soon. You guys have an amazing weekend. Take care.